best old time, just reminiscing about Kitchener right now. This is Karen Bazo and her book is called Home Cooking from Karen's Kitchen, featuring more than 125 classic family recipes made easy. How are you? I'm just fine. Good to have you here. Thank you. So we, there's everything in here, all different kinds of food, entrees and that sort of thing, but we, we went with pies because that's such a homey thing. Yes. Yes. And we heard that you uh, are one of the best. So we're going to make the crust first because that's not easy. That's the tough part. Yeah, it's the tough part because it always it can turn out so thick. And well, I've got the flour here. It's five cups of flour and I've added some uh, two teaspoons of salt and some sugar and some ba a teaspoon of sugar and some baking powder. Okay. And this is the shortening. And, uh, and this all just came from, it's not like you're a professional chef. You just no, no. Tons just, of food. You make up to 60 pies at a time? Oh, wow. Well, yeah, quite a few. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and who eats them all? Your son? <laughs> no. Well, actually, people buy them. Oh, do they? I, I'm not really in business, but... But, you know, friends, if you've got them around, someone wants yeah. them. See, so... Okay. You can... Uh, so now is this what... Do you want me to help you? Sure. Okay. So okay. Have, what kind of consistency are we going for? Well, today? we want the, the shortening and the lard to be in, in a little bit smaller. Okay. But not so so much that it gets that all the flour done up. So you just want you don't want all the flour done up. We right. do. No. no. Okay. 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 So that's a done one there. Yeah. This is done. Okay. Can you? If I make this, could I store it? Like freeze it? Yes. Yes. Actually, you can uh, make it probably into six and uh, uh, wrap it in wax paper and some saran or something yeah. or plastic bag and. Yeah. and mm -hmm. Yeah, and then each time you want to make a pie, why? Because it's nothing once you have the crust. Well, well that's the big thing. Yeah, then once you put the filling in, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, most people can do the filling. It's the crust that's the Yeah, it's the crust, the crust is the trick. So then how thick are you going to uh, roll it out? Well, let me show you here. I'm trying to... There you go. You're doing a good work. And you floured it a little bit so it doesn't yes, stick? Yes, yeah. And I keep turning it, too, because... If you uh, try to do too much and then all of a sudden you can't move it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, it's looking good though. All right, there we go. I feel like I should have, I should know what you're doing because Karen and I were discussing earlier, both being from Kitchener, <laughs> she remembers Fromer's Bakery, for heaven's sake. My family's bakery that was there once upon a time, so I feel like I should know yeah. how to do this through genetics. How does this look? Oh, great. Absolutely. Yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, oh. Great. oh good, good, good. Okay, now, this is the next one. What's that? That's, eggs? Yeah, that's an egg and a tablespoon of uh, vinegar and water to the three-quarter cup. Vinegar? Yes. I've never heard that before. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Is that your secret? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe, I guess. No, it's shared. Okay, there yeah. we go. And it's in the book. Uh, is it? Okay, so it's out there. Oh, yeah. It's out. Um, I'm so impressed that I was reading that your your son, one of your sons, created a publishing company, yeah. essentially, to put out your book. That's right. That's a nice son. <laughs> <laughs> well, he wants me to get the book out. He I must he really love your cooking. I get my recipes out before something happened to me. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, I share them with everyone. Now, um, Karen, I'm going to move us over here just because we're going to run out of time. So, are we putting a filling in? Yes. Okay. Oh, we can do that over there, probably. And this has sugar and uh, uh, four tablespoons of instant oh, clear, that's a strawberry clear gel, and it thickens. And we'll oh, kind of put it in my. about half an hour or so ago, and then, so then you don't end up with your pie running over. So. Oh, my and then we put a, a lid on there. And that would go in for how long? In the, well, in the oven. Uh, for an hour, probably, well, yeah. And then look at these are all quite often I, I freeze them and then we bake them from frozen. And that's still good? Yeah. Yeah. And look at these little beautiful butter tarts as well. Everything just and maple. Fresh. <gasps> and maple. And this is peach? That's peach, strawberry rhubarb, and the covered apple. And then this is Dutch apple. That's a favorite in Kitchener. That's number one on my list. Yes. <laughs> yes. Followed very closely by that strawberry rhubarb over there. The book is called Home Cooking from Karen's Kitchen, Karen Bazo. Thank you so much. It's just lovely recipes that just make you feel good. They're just that hearty home cooking. That's right. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Karen. Here's Janet Live Eye.